fellow Sierra Leoneans, today that the 4th of December 2018, when at December 4, 2018, um, today mark exactly eight months where President Julius Madabio Dondena office as president. And today back, go mark another four years, four months, we don't left for President Madabio in time of office as president of this country. I can repeat again. Today mark exactly eight months where President Julius Madabio don't be president of we country Sierra Leone. And he left for him four years, four months in time in office we will be elect him. My message today, Mina Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare, Mina the leader and chairman for the Alliance Democratic Party, the ADP. My message today, I wake up with a press release from the doctors, medical doctors in Sierra Leone, where government for really take very good care for. But then send a press release say that they go on strike, they're not they work because the money where they pay them, not pittance, the money that they pay them, it's it just disgusting. And it's sad. A country where we get less than 300, 300 medical doctors them, where we get about 7 million people, there, over 7 million people. Them. So when I do, do, do the math, each one doctor in this country, yeah, the average a ratio of about 20,000 Sierra Leoneans. It's sad. It's really, really sad for make you see medical doctors that are going to strike, for make them just get a better pay. The last report we may see with doctors them now, yeah, that they pay them about 3 million a month, for goodness sake. Me fumble them three million one hundred thousand leons ninety the people medical doctors them then take home pay. Then at the last report was see, and it baffled me for see this new direction where the president has been said they come with, where for now he ministers them, then they pay them so much money, then get the motor car allowance. Then get every kind of house allowance, every kind of thing that they give them to cut them, feel everything. But where we own people them, where they sick doctors they for take care of them, they spend over eight years in a university for make them just get the skills we required for save lives, the skills we requires for me then least take care of people away then sick in this country. This is sad for Sierra Leone. It's sad for we country. And it's a really sad and shameful for President Julius Madabio. Under in watch. He not deserve. He don't fly go South Africa. And um, I know when they see a uh, sitting president in eight months, the amount of travel visits that we don't do abroad. And how much money them I wish. And I'll be on the urge every time where the president left out of this country, may them tell you how much it costs the people them where they travel. But up to now, you know, do them. You know, it's just sad. If I'm going to make her just break down today how we can't get money, plenty money, but the people of this country are not getting nothing. What if for eat for the day? When you sick, you not get money. You didn't think about you know, go to the hospital, now you die, they go die. Like just tell you a little bit, now, just currently. I want to break them down, let people understand. Every day in Sierra Leone, every single day, Salon, we, they get the money of we come to where they pay taxes, where they generate from other sources, where they get about over 25 billion leons. When American dollars is about three million dollars. This now every day we get us money. This now we owe money. Can you imagine? Oh, I want break and down.
because we know my role now for educate people in governance because um, and also for shape the political will of the people. Every day, we get over to about 25 billion leons when uh, just about 3 million US dollars every day. And this money, just imagine how president and government now then they for handle their money they are half for half for work on the money for the country and the people. So just imagine, with that kind of money they are, how much people and they suffer in this country. I just want to break them. And I just got a text yesterday and a lot where we taxes, let just break under with taxes. The government say now then they get about 170 billion leons a month for September 2018. And we average that money day every day is about 5 billion, over 5 billion a day. And then are less than 20% of our GDP of our money. So we calculate the money there and I would all the other thing them. This is not just average, I want to tell on us all. they get over then kind of amount there, we country get plenty of money. But we lack the leadership we take for make people them really, really um, live a better life in this country. Yeah. Imagine this. The current minister, when the finance minister, when he been in opposition, when at JJ Safa, it be always be the talk about bread and butter issue. Every issue where the past government be they do. I remember working with the meet up in the media. In focus all the time, I say, you know, you know, matter. I like uh, the past government go build uh, uh, Sierra Leone space. Then not to then then be worried about now the bread and butter. It was right, but guess what? Now in the finance minister, where they control the money. Now we don't get a new direction. But guess what? The bread and butter issue is more de devastating right now. Pass in any time in history. A cup of rice, everything under this country yeah, is so sickening to a point that, you know, I don't know how much people them um, for understand the pain with people in the get in this country. The suffering with people in the get in this country. Yeah. It's sad. It's extremely sad. You know, Sunday can day when we can travel around in this country, I can see how people in the suffer. You know, I, I can feel so bad. Then doctors there, where did they ask for them? They not get motor car allowance. They not get wardrobe allowance. They not get nothing allowance. Just about the last report we me see, three million. 100,000 leons for goodness sake for a whole medical doctor the money is it's less it's about when you calculate them um, in, in, in dollars so less than 500 dollars you know how can we as a nation grow from we continue for be, be a better country when would they see them kind mishap there who they see them kind misrule there who they see then lack of leadership there. You know, it's sad. Like I say, a country where every 10 women them, we get belly. Two or three of the women, they did they die during the belly or when did they give, when did they born? I can tell you now this, this country, 10 belly women, them, every 10 belly women, two or three, they die during the pregnancy or when then they born because of medical facilities in this country poor. You come back, every 10 picking in this country where they born them, about three of them, they die where they know they reach the age of five because of lack of medical and other resources. Fumble, I just want today again, send this message where now the anniversary, eight months of the president in C1, and at the same time, it just coincide with a strike where the medical government, the medical professionals that they do in this country. Yeah. And it's just sad for make a strike, say so they know they work and government not even understand and give a 21 days ultimatum. Government not even able to listen. The president not even listen to them for they negotiate with them, made agree in terms. You know, it's just sad because when you fail for agreed terms with 
people of this caliber where they save life, na poor leadership. So President Madabio, at the urge you now, as an opposition leader in the country, for make you negotiate with the medical team as soon as possible and make you sit with them and give within them due for goodness sake. If you do for me, you reduce your salary and your um, ministers and salary, deputy ministers and directors them, for give them few medical doctors in this country are you need for doam. But please, Mr. President, it's shameful. This now you watch. This is the under you command. So I the urge you for make you meet with then doctors there as soon as possible and may them really resolve this matter and negotiate once for all. May we, we doctors them, we nurses them, may them go back to work. Again, Mina Mohammed Kamarimba Masore, the chairman and leader for the Alliance Democratic Party. I want to wish you um, good luck, whatever you do, and God bless Sierra Leone. Goodbye.